result through to the next round of, of the uh, FA Trophy. Yeah, I like him. Uh, it's always tough on a Tuesday night, no matter where you go, but I felt tonight uh, the lads really applied themselves. We want to control the game as well as what I hope we would, but I thought it was a, it was a good cut time. I thought that the lads um, all heartily went for it, uh, both two good teams. It was a good game of football, a good spectacle. Uh, they think they three or four really good saves. So, again, um, both of the teams had much to do, to be honest with you. So, I'm, I'm over the moon, back to back clean sheets and back to back wins. I thought, well, particularly second half, we were, we were in control, much like we were on Saturday. Maybe not too much in the first half. Yeah, but obviously, good, like you say, the first half was a bit end to end. There wasn't really any clear cut chances in either box, so uh, there wasn't much to separate them. But I thought in the second half we really started to show what we were about, controlled the game, we moved the ball well, uh, took an, an extra touch when needed, and sped it up when needed. I thought uh, yeah, everyone to a man again today. There wasn't anybody I thought was slightly off it. Um, I said on Saturday that if Goose and Sam dealt with the big lad up front and dealt with their threat, then we'd have a good night. And I said the same again tonight, and I think the two ended up fantastically against him again. How concerning was it when uh, Jim was down for what, 7 or 8 minutes in the first half? Yeah, I thought. It's a hard one because I don't think they'll admit it, but it's after, it's after the whistle's gone, it's sort of lunging to try and block the ball, and Jim sort of pulled out of it thinking it's an offside, which it was. And yeah, I mean, I was worried obviously because it was me that was going to go and step in goals. So, um, you were the second choice goal. Well, I would, I would have stepped in, yeah, because as I said, I'm not going to put any of the lads into a situation where they don't need to be in. I took it myself and would have gone from there, but um, credit to Jim, he strapped it up and the fog was fantastic again, his distribution was great. And, Fingers crossed it will settle down before the weekend, otherwise we'll have to sort of look at another option. Yeah, but was uh, Alex not here because he couldn't be here, or was it a, a choice to go with, with no goalkeeper on, that, on this bench? It's something that, <laughs> more of average is how many times you use your goalkeeper. Um, I always think that for that one game, can you get away with not having a substitute goalkeeper on the bench? There might have bit us in the backside tonight. If Jim hadn't been um, strong enough to carry on, um, yeah, we'd love to. At the moment, Alex Mitchell, uh, he's actually leaving the club at the moment. He's trying to, trying to find first team football. We couldn't guarantee him it. Um, again, he feels that it was the right choice for him to go and try and seek first team football elsewhere. Um, we, we feel that it was the right decision for him at the time. Uh, again, I'm sure that if needed and I can call him, we could get him back in a heartbeat. So, again, I'm not too worried for Saturday if I need to. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a call, I'm sure of it. What about any injuries apart from, from Jim? Was there any other concerns? Yeah, I think obviously Sav got a kick on his, on his ankle again, but he seems fine. Cass is a little bit tight, but nothing that's sort of worrying me at the moment. Um, we'll look again at training Thursday. As I said, the boys out. It's a big push for the weekend now. And we want to still be in the hat no matter what come five o'clock. League Town, you know anything about it this stage, but you will do by Saturday? <laughs> Probably not, to be honest with you. I think it'll be, um, I will make a few phone calls and we'll try and um, get a couple of contacts to see what we've got. But unfortunately, obviously, with how late in the day that this round's been sort of decided, we won't be able to get them watched. We won't be able to sort of look at videos and things like that. So we might have to um, go off sort of our contacts and see if we can get a little bit of knowledge about them. Uh, you were mentioning the, the lads in there before, and I know you don't like picking individuals, but Kieran Cass has just been given up to a a month for October. I thought he was outstanding tonight. Kieran's a player I think so much of. He's uh, coming to senior football after taking a, a knock of not playing, getting a contract with Carlisle, and he's stepped into the team. He looks like he's been there for years. He's for a, a young lad that's just turned 18 on the first game of the season. I even got praise that's high enough for it to be honest with you. Um, again, as you say, I don't like singling people out, but when you look at the lads that have stepped in from uh, the, the youth game, Cass and Brock and people like that, they've really excelled. And I think obviously with the likes of Tinners and Scotty Allison helping through the game, Goose and Sam, they've, they've got a lot of experience. <coughs> and they've got a great, a great bunch of boys that want to be successful together. There's a demand in there that even if things aren't going right, they can roll the sleeves up, they can fight, they can play. I think that's short tonight. What about, can I just ask you about Red Carroll, how is he doing? Uh, unfortunately, um, we're going to miss Brad for another three weeks. Um, we couldn't, he's had a reoccurrence, um, a thigh problem, so um, it, was, it was a hard one for us. So, uh, Ronan and myself we spoke with Dolly at Carlisle. Dolly's helped us out by getting through into a, to get a scan. The PFA have obviously helped us with the finances side of that. He's got his scan, he's got his results, he's got a thigh strain. 
and we have to just have to monitor for the next three weeks. And fingers crossed, um, we, can, we can get him back into into the fold in the next month or so because I think he's a massive player. But again, there's a lot of strain on the three lads in the middle at the moment, and um, we just need to make sure that we look after him. Milan Charlie, what's the state with him? Uh, at the moment, um, obviously now that we've um, got him through in the trophy, we'll be at League Town on Saturday. Um, Millie's loan move now is finished because obviously we beat his last game on Saturday. He's unavailable to the trophy, South Shields won't keep him. I think by the sounds of it, South Shields are wanting him back. Uh, they've got a few injuries. Um, but again, there's a, there's, there's a possibility of one more coming before the weekend. Um, unfortunately, this weekend we missed one. Um, we have other commitments, um, which we sort of know about. So again, uh, we'll try and get one through the door before the weekend. Would that be a loan deal or would that be a, a signing? Um, hopefully a signing. Um, it might have to be a loan deal, but we'll look at it again. Um, we we'll hope we'll hope to put a lot through, the, um, through the permanent. We'll bring him through to the end of the season, but we don't know for sure. Really. Would he be available for the FA Trophy? Uh, probably not, no. So again, it's it's one that yes, we'd like to rush through and get him in the building, but with the FA Trophy being this weekend, um, every one of them as well will be able to use him anyway because he's going to be cut tied from a previous club. So we'll have to look at things, maybe rejig things a little bit, uh, but give chance for other boys to, to step in and, and show, showcase what they've got. Done it, well done, and best of luck for Saturday.